angry guy here. The great humiliation is coming, and it's coming soon. There's nothing like a classic. So the great humiliation is coming. What the heck is that? What the hell is the great humiliation? I will tell you. The great humiliation is basically what we're going to witness happening to women in society today. Women don't realize that the world has changed and that men have moved on. They don't realize that guys are leaving. They're going overseas. They're, they're, they're moving on with their lives. They're starting new lives in Southeast Asia, in South America, in other regions of the world. They don't realize that men don't see them anymore, that men have literally given up on them, that men are done, men are frustrated, men are furious. I shouldn't even use, I mean, there are some guys who are furious. You know, they, they, they still think that there's a place to negotiate from, that they can still negotiate with men, that they can still talk to men and reason with Western men, okay? After things like M2, it's over, okay? After M2 and all those other hashtags and all the unfair treatment that these guys have received, after the unjust laws and the family court system, after all of these things, after 20 years of this nightmare, the guys are walking away. The guys have said, listen, thanks, but no thanks. We don't want what you're selling. There's a better option overseas for us, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that option. We're going to take that plan. All right, and they're taking their resources and they're going. These are the same women that call these men broke boys, that call these men dusties, that said that these guys don't have value, that they don't have what they what they, what they want, that they were too short. You know, calling a guy five nine a short king, like how dare you? And this is exactly what what happened. And now these guys are like, you know what? That's it. And it's like these women, those there's some of them are, that realize that, you know, the guys aren't coming back. And even when you have women that are, you know, decent looking, they can't compete with these girls over there. These girls that are in their 20s, these girls that are extremely fit, they're fun, they're happy, they're relatable, they're, they're, they're agreeable. You know, they'll cook for you, they'll clean for you, and they won't run their mouth. I mean, it's, it's, it's a whole different world. And then the money goes just so much further. You know, in America, you're a pauper. In another country, in one of these countries, you're a prince, you know, in every way possible. You know, in America, they look at you like basic. American women, they don't like mo most men. But over there in these other countries, you're exotic. You're something different. And you're someone that they want to hang out with and someone that they want to get to know. And this is this, this is just honest to goodness truth. And that's why these guys are walking away from Western society and Western women and they're becoming password bros and they're not coming back. And women are going to have to face this head on. But many of them are in complete and utter denial. And that's why you have a lot of these women now trying to do the whole soft girl era thing, you know, and they're only going to go from soft girl era to broke girl era. And that's the honest to goodness truth. You literally have women. Who are selling feet picks, feet picks, and making thousands of dollars doing this? I mean, it's gone worse. It's worse than OnlyFans now. I mean, Instagram is literally a dating platform for women because they get so many guys hitting them up in their DMs. Like they just go on OnlyFans and they pick out <laughs> OnlyFans. Oh my gosh! I mean, Instagram is very much like OnlyFans these days. It's like OnlyFans light. Or that's where you know that's that's how women bait guys and then they try and get them over to their only fans. But you know, it's it's absolutely insane. It's like it's a dating platform. It's a, it's a hookup platform. It's a it's a it's a platform that that helps women transition men over to pornographic platforms. OnlyFans is a pornographic platform. There are a lot of women today who act like OnlyFans is not a pornographic platform. OnlyFans is a platform primarily for pornography, and a lot of these women are delusional. What we're going to witness as men are walking away is literally the great humiliation where men are saying, we don't want these 304s. Modern day women think that it's a, it's like a prideful thing to be a 304, to hook up with like 20, 30, 40, 50 guys over the course of their short lives and then act like, okay, well, now I want a stable guy. I want a guy that's going to be in a relationship with me, a guy who's going to take care of me, a guy who's going to have morals and is going to be... You know, a person who comes home, 
you know, it's not out there in the streets, and that's not going to happen. I'm telling you guys, like this this thing with guys going overseas and looking for wives, this is going to become it's it's going places, all right? As I said, you know, right now it's a trend, and trends become normalities, and normalities become traditions. And we're gonna witness this thing grow just like we've witnessed the Manosphere become this mega platform where you've got you have a lot of women trying to get into the Manosphere. These are these are infiltrators, you know, and trying to, you know, get some of that money. And there's a lot of simps in the mass here. Like, you know, they haven't learned, they haven't learned enough, but they're there because they're afraid. Like, you know, they're still simps, but they're afraid. There's a lot of simping in the manosphere, you know, like Pearl Davis. I don't, I don't dislike Pearl, but you've got guys like try to like, like jump into her DMs costume. And she's like told guys like guys you need to chill with that. Like, like what the heck is, is your thing? Like dude, sending dick pics. That's like, like so in, in your twenties. Like, you know, a lot of these guys haven't learned their lesson yet. Like they don't know how to take a chill pill. They don't real. They're still treating, you know, they're treating these women like the walls. And like these women can like tell you, I'm not in the wall. And they're like, oh no, yes you are. You're so you have a heart of gold, Pearl. No, she doesn't. And she doesn't even like you, bro. She likes black guys. She wants to talk like like she only dates black guys. I'm talking about Pearl Davis or just pearly things. Like a lot of these guys are like, oh gosh, Pearl, you're so wonderful, dude. She only dates black guys. And they've got to be like six feet, like six feet, six two. She wants someone taller than her. And like, this is like, you know, I saw a video where she literally said, like, I own, like, you know, I've only dated black guys. And someone this dude was like, how do you, what do your parents think about that? She's like, they don't care. I mean, that's her thing. That's her niche, you know? And she wants to do it with money as well. Like, you know, she doesn't want a guy that makes less money than her. She wants a guy that's taller than her. She wants a guy that makes more, uh, that makes more money than she does. She likes an ex, she wants a guy who's extroverted. Like these are the qualities she wants in a man, and she wants she wants a guy who's black, and you know she talks about like she likes to smile, the uh, you know their teeth. Uh, like I'm just like bro, like a lot of these sims don't seem to get it. Like these women, they know what they're looking for, and it ain't you, you know. I, I'm just like being real with it, and a lot of men have to just 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 like live up to it and understand like you know this is and a lot of guys are like you know yeah we're we're out. We're going overseas and we're gonna do our thing. Cause like like even like I'm just being honest with y'all. Just being so honest with y'all. Like this simping thing is just out of control. Like it, in the master, the simping thing is out of control. But the great humiliation is coming because a lot of dudes are just like, yeah, I'm I'm leaving. Like I'm not I don't want to be with this type of woman. I it, like you know, she's out there in the streets with these dudes, and then I'm supposed to come and clean up this mess later on. Nope, not no 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 no, you know. If that, you know, I think we're, I think we're safe. This is like, they're like, fuck that shit. I'm out. Uh huh. Fuck that shit. I'm out. I don't even care. I'm just gonna get the fuck up out of here. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like the great humiliation is coming and it's coming soon and it's going to hurt. And, you know, there's gonna be a lot of tears. There's gonna be a lot of like, like running mascara. But, you know, it, from that, from that, some amazing things will emerge. What is difficult for a lot of women to accept is that in this world, without a man, they are absolutely defenseless. Without a man to provide for them, without a man to protect them, without a man to comfort them, without a man to provide them with guidance, because a lot of women struggle just to make basic decisions. Without men, Women are completely defenseless in this world. And we're not just talking about the threats that they face from other men, from men in society, if they don't have a man to protect them. No, no, no. We're talking about the threats they face from other women. We're talking about threats that they face from nature itself. We're talking about the threats that women face from the world. The world in and of itself is a dangerous place. Before we had developed societies, every woman needed to find herself a man. A man that was strong, a man that was brave, and a man that could provide and would be willing to provide. This notion of the alpha male as well is a joke. Because a true alpha just gets up and walks off, and he would never stick around. 
They needed a man that was strong, courageous, but always but also was family orientated and a man that would love them because if it wasn't for love, he wasn't going to stick around. If he wasn't responsible, he wasn't going to stick around. And the thing is, women don't realize that these men are now going overseas. They are walking away from society. They're starting new lives with Filipino wives. And there's no going back. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the great humiliation. I've, I've got a lot more to say about the subject, but um, I'll, put, I'll save that for another video. Hey, everyone. I appreciate your support and feedback. If you want to show your gratitude, you can use the Super Thanks feature to tip me any amount you like. You'll also get a special comment that I can see and reply to. Or you can become a channel member using the join button and get exclusive perks like badges, emojis, live chats, and more. Your support helps me make more videos for you. So thank you and stay tuned for more. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and shares.